Go ahead and find the one or the two at the table. And take a seat. Go ahead and write your name on the card. your favorite children's song? Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Exactly. All right. Uh, Kevin. Where's Kevin? You Kevin? Yeah. Kevin. What are, what are songs made up of? Sounds. Sounds, right. Okay, right. Um, now today we are going to go on an adventure through the world of sound. Um, we will be your tour guys. My name is Adrian. This is my friend. I'm Joshua. Right. Okay. And we are going to take you on this adventure. Uh, we are going to study uh, sounds, and we're going to study uh, how they're made. Um, now, first off, do you guys know anything about how sounds are made? Okay. Uh, okay. All right, so that's one kind of song. What, what, are you, what are you doing? <coughs> Anybody else want to add to what Katie said about clapping her hands to make a song, what she's doing when she's clapping her hands? How are you, Katie? Um, she's making a rhythm. Yeah, good, good. Songs are made up of rhythms and sounds, right? And that's what makes up music that you listen to on the radio, you listen at home, you have a CD player or iPods, right? Isn't that what, what kids add now on iPods? So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, that's what you're hearing. You're hearing sounds rhythms and beats, and that's what makes up what we call music. So what we're going to do is we're going to investigate some sounds of some uh, things that we use. So your hands, right, Kate? Okay, those are examples of instruments, right? You can use your hands as an instrument. So what we're going to do is we're going to be investigating how sounds are made from instruments. You, of course, just clap your hands together, but we're going to look at some other types of instruments and how sound comes from those instruments, okay? We're going to ask our friend Taylor. Go ahead here. Hand for Taylor. <laughs> okay, so Taylor's going to show you how sound comes from this room. Yeah. 
So, so, so let me ask you guys this. How do you think, how do you guys think Taylor made sounds with the trumpet? Katie, how do you think? He blew into it. Okay, he blew into it, right? Okay. Poke those thingies down, and they push sound out of them. Okay, all right, so you think, you think the, the pushy things, the valves, uh, make the sound? Okay, all right. Well, let me ask you this. Did you hear a bunch of different sounds come out of that? Yeah? All right, so what do you think he did to change the sound that came out of the trumpet? Push the pushy. Say again? Push the pushy. <laughs> no, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, so he, he changed which, which valves he was pushing, which, which buttons he was pressing, right? Okay, so that maybe changed the sound that was coming out, right? And like you said, he blew into it to make the sound come out, right? Okay, so that was that was for trumpet. Trumpet is a horn, right? Um, we have uh, Josh here who's actually going to play a different instrument for us. Uh, he's going to play a guitar for us. You guys know some guitar players? Famous guitar players? No? Mommy and Daddy listen Garth today. Brooks. Sure, Garth Brooks. That's good. <laughs> Slash. I mean, <laughs> Hendrix. Yeah, Hendrix is great. Yeah. Yeah. Kevin, what about you? Play guitar? Do you, do you, do you play the guitar? Do you know anyone who plays guitar? Uh, not my dad. Okay, your dad plays. What, does he play an electric guitar? This is an electric guitar because I have to plug it into the wall. If I, if I don't plug it into the wall, you won't really hear it that well, so that's why it's an electric guitar. You play electric or an acoustic guitar where he doesn't plug it into the wall? Acoustic. An acoustic guitar, that's great. That's a big one, right? Yeah. Okay, so when I play this, I want you all to be thinking about how this instrument makes different sounds from Taylor's trumpet, okay? And I want you to be thinking about how the sounds coming from this instrument are made when compared to the sounds that are made in Taylor's instrument, okay? And also think about how he's changing the sounds that his instrument's making. <laughs> between the sounds that I made with the guitar and the sounds that were made with the trumpet. Can you tell me the difference with the sounds that I made here and the sounds that were made with the trumpet? Yours, the sounds on the guitar are... I don't know whether they're like wavy or not. Okay. They sound funny. Okay, sounds funny. That's good. Did anybody else want, can add that? How about you, Katie? Is there any differences between the sounds of the guitar and the sounds of the trumpet? Um, what about how the sounds are made? Uh, we make the sound by moving the strings on the guitar. Okay, great. That's excellent. So Josh didn't have to blow oh. into the guitar to make any sounds, right? Mm -hmm. Wait. Mm -hmm. Right. I, I could blow into the guitar, but nothing would happen. But <laughs> yeah, good. And then Taylor could probably hit his trumpet, but probably nothing would happen either, right? So there are specific ways of making instruments make sounds, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to investigate the ways that we make sounds. Uh, and that's kind of what we're going to be doing today. Uh, you're not going to use a guitar or a trumpet, but you're going to be using different types of instruments to make sounds. So I want everybody to go ahead and stand up. One second. Go ahead and stand up. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at high and low sounds, okay? I'm going to play a high sound on the guitar, okay? So this would be an example of a high sound, okay? Okay, and when you hear that high sound, what you're going to do is you're going to 